On Saturday, for example, if you need to see the doctor, you have to have a car, but we don't have a car. I have only three trains a day, at 7 a.m., 10 a.m. or 4 p.m. They could be more frequent. It's a disaster. I'm just coming back from the station. I wanted to take a bus to Zwoczyniec on Saturday. Forget it, there's no bus. It's really tough. They have no way to get to the doctor or wherever. There's no bus, no van, nothing. For many people in Poland, particularly old people, local public transport is the only way to get around. But nearly half of Poles on the outskirts of big cities have no access to public transportation. It's even worse in the countryside. Sometimes it takes several hours to get to the next town. This creates a barrier in accessing healthcare, schools, public services, and jobs. Efficient public transit can stimulate economic development, including in the central part of West Pomerania province. One of the problems is that public transit is, by definition, unprofitable. This is why the duty to organize public transport falls on the municipality, the county or the province, so that citizens can reach centers for public services and health care. But with a lack of legal regulations, we are now in limbo. Over 140,000 people live in the counties of Travsko, Świdwin and Wobes. Over 80,000 of them in the six largest towns. This area is covered by the European Commission's Catching Up Regions initiative. In this project, experts from the World Bank work with local authorities to improve public transit. One of the solutions proposed is to draw up a digital map of all transport connections in these counties, public and private. The map would facilitate planning and management of the existing network, and passengers would receive current information on connections. In some locations, the World Bank experts recommend testing demand-responsive transport. In this service, passengers could use their telephone or smartphone app to order a ride from point A to point B at a selected time. Preparations are now underway. We're an advocate for this solution, and we're excited about the opportunity to overcome this exclusion, to give residents hope that they can contact the outside world. This innovative form of support for regular public transit would allow more residents of the counties of Dravsko, Wobes and Świdwin, particularly older people, to gain access to public transport. Bus demand responsive transport operates successfully in other countries, such as Germany and the UK, and also in some cities in Poland, including Szczecin and Kraków.